What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday. Um and in today's video my friend is actually doing some archery hunting up to my cabin. He's hunting in a different stand though. Um and it actually turned out to be a pretty good night for him. Um he's seen quite a few deer and a nice buck came out. He ended up pulling a good shot on it. He got pretty good footage of him actually shooting the deer, but he didn't really record too much before that. Um, I don't really have a video of him talking. So I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what happened. There's really not too much to explain. I mean, a deer comes out and he shoots it. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking and get into this video. Alright guys, so it's actually around 540 right now, and, and he's waiting, and he keeps hearing deer behind him, and he can't really turn around and shoot him, because um, there's a bunch of trees. He'll just wait for him to come out to the food plot. Anyway guys, it's like 5 to 10 minutes after that doe walked in, and a nice buck runs right in. As you guys seen, he pulled a pretty decent shot on it. Um, the buck came in really fast. He didn't really get a good look at the rack because the deer ran in and then he had to make a quick decision because it was walking right back out. We waited about an hour for it to bleed out and then we started tracking. Okay guys, um, it is October, late October, let me just put it there. And um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm hunting down to my cabin here, my friend Hunter. And obviously you can tell it's, it's, it's dark out. And um, I was hunting up there where I killed my buck, I didn't see anything, and he was hunting down here in this food plot stand, and he shot a buck, um, looks like he pulled a pretty good shot on it after watching the video, and we're going to look for him, he said there was good blood, so hopefully um, we find him, but yeah. Alright guys, as you can see here, there is no dogs down here, <clears throat> ever, these are some coyote tracks, and the, down in my cabin here is infested with coyotes. There's some pretty big ones too. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you guys watch my coyote Can you kill video. like a 60 pound at Yeah, fifty, fifty. 50, 50, yeah, no, 50 pounds oh, female I killed last year. It's just infested with predators down here. So, yep, anyway, we're going to go look for his buck. Alright guys, he's using these rage hypodermics. He shot that buck right here. Look at this blood. Just devastating. Look at that. Oh my god. All over the tree. Look at this. Right there. Just devastating. So we're gonna keep looking. Okay, got some more right there. Right up here, we got some. Right up here. Alright, guys, we're right here. There he is, dead. Let's go check him out. Oh, yeah. That is a dandy buck. That was a good shot. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at that rage did, guys. It's devastating. Look at that, guys. Look at that buck. 
All right, guys, there he is. We tracked this thing, what, like 200 yards? Oh my God. Man, you could tell he's been fighting, but his neck is all big, he's been freaking. Look at that one shot, look at them, look at them bubbles. Wow. We tracked about 200 yards, guys, and there he is when he's dead. I mean, if he didn't break these off, it'd been a nice block. He still has a freaking amazing block. Oh God, yeah, dude. Dude, look at him. There he is, guys, on um, nine point. He's broke both his G3s, which this one looks fresh. Yeah, so, I think this might have broke when I shot him. I don't know. He, it's never been fighting like crazy, but look at the body of that deer. His huge body deer. But, um, yeah. So far my biggest buck with a bow. Oh, yeah. Feels real nice. What were you using? I was using my Elite Energy 32 with, uh, I just bought these. My old jackets. jackets by Easton. Just set up. And with a Ray Chisel Tip X or uh Ray's Chisel Tip Extreme. Yeah. And just look at it. Lunged them. Look at that lung blood. Devastating. Just devastating. But there he is guys. Look at those G2s. Wow. Real nice buck. Yeah. I mean, they have to be at least nine. Yeah, eight, they're nine, eight, nine inches. They're maybe. long. But this buck's been fighting hard. Look at how big his neck is. Devastating shot with his that. Is. Big deer wall. We got a hike. We're um in the middle of the woods, guys. Oh, like okay. obviously, okay. a little tough on the blood trail. He gave us a decent one, but <clears throat> every once in a while he'd stop. Look but we're 200 head. yards down in this thick brush, we heard coyotes. We got, this is up to my cabin, we got nine bear on show cam, nine different bears, so. Yeah, it's gonna be risky hike, so. You wanna get a picture of this after? He just died, too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just freaking. Good buck. Yeah, that was an owl. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, we were hearing coyotes earlier. There's, sorry, my light's a little bright, but yeah, them G2s are long. Big body deer, too. Um, yeah, we got a problem, too. We drove down this four-wheeler. This thing's like 200 pounds. Yeah, we got a, not only that, we got to hike back far. So. But, yep, we're going to get him gutted, get him tagged up, and, yeah, hike him. All right, guys. There are the raised chisel tips right there. They did their job. Yep, same exact thing I have, but they're um, two blade, mine are three. About pretty much the same spot. I hit my deer right in the lungs. Just look at them bubbles, though. He was not going any further. Especially ran this far. Yeah, honest, honestly. But, but he is, uh, he's getting ready for winter. Look how thick coat he is. Yeah. But. That was a Guys, dead deer look at walking. that. Look at the look at inside him. That's not normal. All right, guys. If you get a buck, you gotta hang the balls in a tree. Luckily it's for us, there's a tree right there. There's some good old branches on there. I'll put that right there. Tradition, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you gotta keep it even, guys. Yeah. There you go. Back to old gut in this beauty. There we go. That was his. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was his lungs. Oh, yeah, it was his lungs. Look at that. Look what that rage did, guys. Split his lungs right. I'm surprised he ran this far. Not be able to breathe. Yep. Like what I did on my uh, my buck. Oh, and if you guys didn't see that, go watch that link up in the right hand corner description. Go check that out. Next thing you guys want to do here is just dump it out once you get all the guts out. This is my high homecoming dance. Get an easy way. Now I got all the crap. Alright guys, um, I'm here with my friend Hunter up to my cabin like I said, 
and he's got this big body nine point. He's he's fighting like crazy. You can see he's broke up a little bit, but he's pretty wide. He's a nice chocolate rack. His neck's all beefed up, getting ready. A little horny bastard trying to find some dough to fuck. We tracked him down there about 200 yards. We had a whole pack of coyotes, probably like nine or ten, just yipping like crazy. They're probably down there on the mature buck too. You know, these G2s are long. Sorry, he's getting a little stiff, but yeah, there's his buck. Good buck. Nice chocolate rack, but make sure you share this video to get everybody pumped for archery season. But yeah, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. As always, see you guys next time. All right, guys, got the can dude. This stuff, I, I, you guys can't see really well, but I, I don't know how I made it, but I'm not going any further. I'm just gonna grab the gear. I'm gonna get this turned around. We actually didn't have much further to go, but we were heading the wrong way. Our cabin's right there, but this is thick stuff and sketchy at night. Pretty heavy, folks. But as you guys seen, um, it was a pretty good hunt for him. It was a nine point. I mean. Kind of, it was broke up pretty bad, which kind of sucks, but um, it was still a pretty good buck with a compound bow. He's just pretty happy with it. His biggest archery buck ever. And I don't know if you guys heard in the video, but the coyotes actually found that deer before we did, and we spooked him out of there. And then after we got done gutting it, the coyotes actually came back to the gut pile. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Link in the description for the bow, his arrows, his um, broadheads, everything he used down below. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to go down below and smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, guys, leave a comment down there. I know Archer Season's over here in Pennsylvania. Uh, this video is actually coming out a little late. Just leave a comment on how you guys did. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time.